dark motivation, and neurological disorders. Have you ever thought about how people facing neurological disorders find the strength to fight their battles every day? Welcome to a journey of resilience, determination, and the power of dark motivation. You might be wondering, what is dark motivation? Well, it's an intriguing concept that refers to the use of negative emotions or experiences as a driving force to overcome challenges. It's about channeling the darkness into a beacon of strength and resilience. Now, let's talk about neurological disorders. These are medical conditions that affect the nervous system, often leading to physical and mental challenges that can be tough to navigate. But the human spirit is remarkable and many individuals facing these disorders harness the power of dark motivation to fuel their journey forward. We'll be sharing some inspiring stories of these brave individuals who have not just coped, but thrived using dark motivation. So buckle up, and now, get ready to dive into some truly inspiring stories. Overcoming obstacles with dark motivation, meet John, a man who refuses to let his neurological disorder define him. John's journey began on a cold autumn morning when a diagnosis turned his world upside down. He was diagnosed with a neurological disorder, a curveball that would have sent many spiraling into despair. But not John. He decided that he would not be defined by his diagnosis, but rather he would use it as a catalyst for change. John had always been a fighter, a trait that came in handy when he discovered the concept of dark motivation. Dark motivation, as the name suggests, is a strategy that involves channeling negative emotions into fuel for resilience and determination. For John, this meant using his diagnosis, his fears and his frustrations as a springboard for growth and transformation. John's first step in harnessing dark motivation was acknowledging his emotions. He allowed himself to feel fear, anger, and sadness. He embraced these emotions, knowing that they were valid and natural reactions to his situation. But he didn't stop there. John took these emotions and transformed them into a force of determination, a drive to prove that he is more than his disorder. He began setting small, achievable goals for himself. Each goal was a challenge, a battle against his disorder. And with every victory, no matter how small, he felt a surge of accomplishment that overshadowed the negativity. He began to see his obstacles not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones to becoming stronger, more resilient. John also leaned on his support network, sharing his journey with friends and family. He found strength in their encouragement and in knowing that he was not alone. He used their support to fuel his determination, adding another layer to his dark motivation. In the face of adversity, John chose to rise, to fight, to harness the power of his negative emotions. He used his diagnosis as a tool for empowerment rather than a sentence for despair. He took control of his narrative, shaping it into a story of resilience strength and triumph. John's story shows us that our struggles can fuel our determination to thrive, harnessing the power of dark motivation. Now, let's turn to Lisa, a woman who has harnessed the power of dark motivation in her battle with a neurological disorder. Lisa's journey began with an unexpected diagnosis. She was going about her life, full of dreams and aspiration. When she was hit with the news, a neurological disorder. This could have been a moment of despair, a moment where she allowed the darkness to consume her. But Lisa chose a different path. Instead of succumbing to the overwhelming wave of negative emotions, Lisa used them as a catalyst for change. She looked at her diagnosis not as a life sentence, but as a challenge, a mountain to climb. She decided to fight, she decided to harness the power of dark motivation. Dark motivation, a concept often misunderstood, is the idea of using negative emotions like fear, anger, or frustration as fuel for a positive action. 
It's about channeling these emotions, not suppressing them, to spur resilience and determination. For Lisa, the fear of her disorder became her motivation to fight, to learn, to adapt, to overcome. She used her frustration as a springboard for research, delving into every possible treatment, every lifestyle change that could help her regain control. She used her anger as a driving force, pushing her to advocate for herself in a healthcare system that often felt overwhelming and unsympathetic. Her fear, her anger, her frustration, they all became her allies, not her enemies. They were the sparks that lit her inner fire, the fire of resilience. And this resilience led her to face her diagnosis head-on, to reclaim her life and to inspire others with her strength and tenacity. Dark motivation is not about dwelling in negativity. It's about acknowledging these emotions, giving them a purpose, and using them as stepping stones towards resilience and personal growth. It's about turning the darkness into a guiding light, a beacon of hope and determination. Lisa's story demonstrates that even in the face of adversity, we can find strength within ourselves. The science behind dark motivation. You might be wondering, what's the science behind dark motivation? A question that dives us into the fascinating world of psychology and neuroscience. Dark motivation is rooted in the psychological concept of counterfactual thinking. This is the mental process where we imagine alternative realities to our current situation. You've probably experienced this when you've thought, if only I had done this, things would be different. But here's the twist. Instead of getting stuck in regret, dark motivation harnesses these thoughts focusing on the potential for a change and growth. The science behind dark motivation also involves our brain's complex response to negative emotions. Fear, anger, frustration. These are not just feelings we experience. They are powerful signals from our brain, responses to challenges or threats. Now, typically, we view these emotions as negative, but what if we could channel them into something positive? This is where dark motivation shines. It takes these so-called negative emotions and uses them as fuel for action and change. It's like a mental judo move, using the force of our challenges, not against us, but for us. But don't just take my word for it. Let's look at what science has to say. Several research studies have shown the potential of dark motivation. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Experimental Social Psychology found that negative feedback could actually enhance motivation and performance, provided it was framed constructively. Likewise, research in the field of neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to rewire itself, has shown that our brains can adapt to adversity. This means that even in the face of neurological disorders, we can cultivate resilience and determination thanks to the power of dark motivation. In essence, dark motivation is not just about harnessing the power of negative emotions and experiences. It's about transforming these into a force for positive change. It's about turning the tables on adversity and using it as a catalyst for growth and triumph. So, dark motivation isn't just a concept. It's a scientifically backed strategy that can help us overcome challenges. How to harness dark motivation? So, how can you harness dark motivation in your life? Especially if you're dealing with a neurological disorder. Well, it begins with acceptance. Acknowledge the existence of the struggle you're experiencing. It's valid. It's real. And it's okay to not be okay. Acceptance isn't about giving up or dwelling in despair, but rather, it's about recognizing your reality as it is. Next, don't try to do this alone. Reach out to professionals, psychologists, therapists, counselors, and even life coaches can provide you with tools to tap into this dark motivation. They can guide you through the process, 
ensuring it's done in a healthy and constructive way. Another crucial step is to redefine your perspective. Instead of viewing your neurological disorder as a hindrance, see it as a unique aspect of your journey. This doesn't mean you need to romanticize or trivialize your struggles. Rather, it's about recognizing the strength and resilience it takes to face them every day. Remember, dark motivation isn't about dwelling on the negative. It's about using the negative as a catalyst for a positive change. It's about saying, yes, this is tough. Yes, this is challenging. But I will not let it define me. I will use it to fuel my journey forward. Practice mindfulness. Be present in each moment. It's easy to get lost in worries about the future or regrets about the past. By focusing on the here and now, you can better manage your emotions and harness your dark motivation. Finally, celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Every step forward is a testament to your strength and resilience. And remember, progress isn't linear. There will be setbacks, but that doesn't mean you're failing. It means you're human. Harnessing dark motivation isn't a what I'm endeavor. It's a continuous process. One that requires patience, perseverance, and self-love. And remember, you're stronger than you think. You're a warrior. Remember, it's not about ignoring the struggle. It's about using it as a catalyst for change. Celebrating resilience. We've seen how dark motivation can be a powerful tool in the face of neurological disorders. It's a testament to the human spirit that even in the midst of life's toughest battles, we find the strength to keep pushing forward. We've journeyed together through the science behind dark motivation, explored ways to harness it, and seen it in action through the inspiring tales of John and Lisa. John, with his unwavering determination, turned his challenge into his motivation, proving that no obstacle is too great when faced with relentless resilience. And Lisa, who showed us that sometimes it's the darkest nights that produce the brightest stars. Her strength and courage serve as a beacon of hope for us all. Each story is a celebration of resilience, a testament of the human capacity to endure, adapt, and overcome. In the end, it's all about finding your inner strength and resilience. Remember, you're not alone in this journey.